hi friends this is lakshman welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i am going to share what is the exactly java developer roadmap what are the skills are mandatory uh, to become a java developer and what tools make you a better java developer and which framework a java developer must absolutely learn so each and every point you can uh, learn in this session okay so don't miss uh, this video up, uh, till the end and watch this video till the end then you can clearly understand what are the skills mandatory to become a java developer and absolutely what is the java developer roadmap to become a rockstar developer okay and uh, before entering into the video if you are still not subscribed to our youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and also share this video likes our videos okay and uh, click on the bell icon okay so coming to the video so to become a uh, java developer so what are the skills are mandatory okay first in india to become a java developer uh, they will start their learning as a core java concepts in core java concepts you can expect history of java introduction fundamentals of java okay and then data types okay and then uh, strings and uh, api tools like uh, input output so object related concepts oops concepts and then you can learn collections framework multi threading concepts generics okay and uh, uh, networking concepts socket programming jdbc so these are all the concepts covered in core java uh, in core java course so to complete this core java course it will take uh, two to three months so it depends on the instructor so in this core java concepts uh, they will cover mostly uh, java collection framework so this is one of the most essential java api every java developer should learn this api provides the uh, implementation of uh, standard data structures in java like linked list set stack queue hash table and others at least you should know about all uh, every objects like array list hash map hash set linked hash set tree set etc each of them has their different property like array list is a dynamic array which can grow hash map is a standard implementation of hash table and can be used to store key value pairs so the another uh, big concept in core java uh, area java concurrency it's nothing but a multi threading so after java collection the most crucial api in java is about multi threading and concurrency okay so you must have a solid understanding and command on java concurrency api so you should not only have in depth understanding of fundamental concepts like thread runnable object locking and synchronization but you should also be familiar with concepts like deadlock live lock race conditions and how to deal with them so and also you should also uh, learn about advanced java concepts like uh, synchronize added on java 5 okay uh, like uh, countdown latch phaser and completable feature etc okay so and then uh, one more concept you have to cover in core java like java io okay so if you if you have to code a real world core java application you will need to use classes like uh, file input stream output stream reader writer from java.io package which is the core of java io api okay uh the next one is uh, you also should learn java 8 features as well because uh, nowadays java 8 is very most popular uh to develop any projects as a java developer okay so this api api also is very necessary for java programmer should learn so java 8 features okay so without knowing these apis it would be very tough to write a java application in 2020 and in future also so most of the libraries also now uh, stop supporting a version lower than java 8 so which means you have to learn java 8 features okay uh, in future also <clears throat> because uh, it's already 5 years uh, since java 8 was released so you literally have to no excuse left 
so in java 8 there are uh, uh, new features uh, added uh, excellent resources available in the market okay and then what you have to learn after core java so after core java you have to learn advanced java advanced java means you have to learn frameworks so before that if you are uh, not yet done uh, that course like uh, jsp and servlet you have to done that course as well before frameworks so servlet and jsp is very helpful uh, for a java developer to develop uh, web applications okay so it will take uh, uh, one to two months to complete uh, servlet and jsp so after that you have to learn frameworks okay so first of all uh, first thing is uh, a spring framework okay if you want to become a java developer in 2020 or in the future i strongly recommended you to learn spring framework first this is one of the most popular java framework so whatever the applications web applications are developing these days every web applications are developed using this framework only so it this framework encourages writing clean code which is easier to test and maintain by providing you features like a dependency injection and the inversion of control it also has a rich api for most of the day to day task so that's why every java developer should learn spring framework the second framework is hibernate so i recommended every java developer should learn hibernate because most of the java application you will work with will interact with the database and it will execute to deal with the database in java using jdbc and without a proper framework like hibernate so because uh, and also it provides uh, essential features uh, like uh, caching and transaction uh, which which means you have more time to focus on your application logic then implementing caching in your application so this is seriously improves the performance of java application and so far my most significant reason to use hibernate the third one is spring boot framework this, uh, this is another framework i recommended every java developer to learn in 2020 and going forward Spring Boot is nothing but a Spring MVC of simple equation and made it easy to work with Spring itself. Just like Spring uh, makes it easier to create a Java application and Spring Boot makes it easier to create a Spring based Java application. Uh, because uh, this Spring Boot contains the features like auto configuration, take away most of the pain associated with configuration Spring application. While learning Spring Boot and uh, Spring Cloud is sufficient for developing microservices in Java. So there are a couple of micro advanced frameworks you can explore like uh, Eclipse, MicroProfile, Micronaut and uh, Quarkos. Okay, so these are also uh, you should yeah. learn uh, this uh, like uh, <clears throat> Spring Cloud related frameworks. Okay, so and then uh, you have to learn yeah testing related skills also testing is an essential skill for any java developer particularly unit testing integration testing and automation testing so every java developer should be familiar with j unit and mock ito two of the most popular unit testing and mock library if you know these two and how to use them to effectively create a unit test you will be much better uh, Java developer than without them. So there are more advanced libraries also exist like uh, Cucumber for business driven testing, Robot framework for integration testing, but there is no substitute for JUnit. You will always need that. And uh, when it comes to mocking library, you have a couple of choice like uh, Power Mac, uh, Mock ITO and uh, Easy Mock. Still, I strongly suggest you learn mock ITO because it is a vast library and also many Java developers and companies are doing that. Then, uh, 
a how to learn uh, utility libraries so the real power of java lies in its uh, vibrant ecosystem of open source libraries you will find libraries to do almost anything in java from logging to machine learning from sending an http request to parsing json and much more okay and also you have to learn uh, some other skills along with these skills uh, like um, <clears throat> git and github so one of the most popular version control system it is it is just not possible to live without git anymore and there are also linux so not just a web developer but any programmer the linux command line uh, is very important and i strongly recommended you to spend some time to learn them and also data structures and algorithms so, so these are the building blocks of any program and a good knowledge of algorithms and data structure is very important for your next job or doing uh, well on your current situation so at least uh, you should be uh, familiar with essential data structures like array linked list hash table binary tree queue stack and graph and also you should have knowledge on http and https http protocol is the backbone of the web and a good knowledge of both http and https is mandatory for a web developer so and also design patterns there is no doubt that every programmer should know git and github as they are standard in terms of version control and code repository so if you want uh, uh, and also you can learn you should learn design pattern also to become a, a rockstar developer in java area so i hope i covered all these uh, areas all these technologies uh, to become a java developer and mandatory skills uh, to uh, to become a rockstar developer okay so uh, okay i hope you enjoy the video so thank you for watching